Yoko Takada Keller er uddannet fra Kunstakademiet i Kyoto. Gennem de sidste 30 år har hun arbejdet med at skabe store tredimensionelle installationer, der består af tusindvis af små figurer, lavet af papir, som hun selv farver i hånden. I 1996 udstillede hun en skulptur i København og mødte i den forbindelse sin tidligere mand. I 1997 flyttede hun til Danmark. I dag arbejder hun fra sit værksted i Helsinge i Nordsjælland, hvor små papirdibedutter findes overalt og i mange farver. Hun udstiller ofte i Japan og er også gæstelærer på Sagami Women's University i Japan. I took a trip to Northern Europe. I wanted to to know the uh, how I say history and then also scenery and so on. Then I took a trip to uh, no Norway and then take that uh, take a trip down to the fjord. I mean along to the fjord, and then I I saw a magnificent scenery, and then um, I feel my I feel my my heart uh, purified with that scenery and then I feel somehow like a reincarnation. <laughs> um, I mean I have never been there but uh, I feel like oh my god I have been here you know like that and I'm almost crying and then um, after that trip I wanted to express something uh, pure in the world. I, I, I'm very interested in that so, um, something uh, uh, doesn't have a shape but a um, transparency like a wind or light or water or air or wind or something like that that I wanted to express that in my work so that's why I'm seeking looking for some some uh, material I can feel transparency and then I made a tracing I mean I met a tracing paper I found and then I colored with acrylic color you can feel uh, transparency and then if you Piled it, and then it's different feeling, and then I thought uh, I I feel um, many possibilities in this material. Even small things, if uh, there are lots of pieces, then it make a bigger power, or you can say big, uh, some message or something like that. I make always. Uh, thousands pieces of those things, I mean in small pieces then uh, consisted by that a big shape that uh, means a small life uh, is combined together each piece should have you know, some some message or something like that sometimes I I printed out uh, some message by text like a love piece or love arts or something like that This year is an uh, to, uh, 150th anniversary of uh, Danish-Japanese diplomatic relations, and then uh, that's a uh, daisy is a symbol of a queen. I thought so, and then also I like uh, the Margaret, and then it looks like a Japanese uh, national flower. It's an uh, this it's more b bigger one, but it's like this. So that's why that's an uh, I choose this flower is uh, as a uh, motif. And then, um, so I wanted to make a little bit of lovely feeling work, yeah. Basically, um, I'm, I would like to express something important uh, in our life. I'm thinking about invisible world is more important. Uh, I'm Yuko Takadakera. I'm from Japan, but I'm living here in Denmark uh, since 1997. So I make a sculpture with like a pointillism in the air uh, by papers. I all do by myself. I don't ask anyone to help me because uh, for me it's important to, each process, every process, to, to do it by myself. 
about this exhibition, I want I would like to express something uh, different type of the work, even uh, paperwork. I have a uh, couple of techniques I have, so I brought three big sculptures. But one of them is uh, behind me now is an uh, called celebration. It's an, a bird flying up to the sky to celebrate something. And then in the middle one, it's a very tiny, small triangle dressing paper I use. And the more than 10,000 pieces will be in there and makes a globe. The title is Be Gentle. That's because uh, I wanted the people to be feel gentle and then no war and, you know, love peace and love art. And then the last one in the end will be an moon shape. It's called the Love Peace Moon. Basic concept is love peace and the love arts. So uh, I want to all the I mean people <laughs> to be happy and then love love each other. I mean love is uh, all we need. <laughs> all you need is love. Even small things, if it's gathering lots of pieces and make a big power or a big influence, even one people's power, one person power is very small if you can you can cooperate together many people cooperate, co cooperate together then make it bigger things so that's uh, kind of thing that I I wanted to express about that